everybody this is 22 tiger dude and i'm here to review the interview the interview is directed by evan goldberg and seth rogan the two dudes who also directed this is the end this is the second film that the two of them are directing together and it stars seth rogan james franco lizzie kaplan and randall park so this movie is about james franco who hosts this celebrity tabloid show called Skylark Tonight. So then James Franco and Seth Rogen find out that Kim Jong-un, the dictator at North Korea, is actually a huge fan of the show. So James Franco gets the opportunity to actually have a broadcast interview with Kim Jong-un. But then Leslie Kaplan comes over to Seth Rogen and James Franco that, hey, while they're doing an interview to assassinate Kim Jong-un, the interview is honestly one of the funniest movies I've seen in 2014. Now, while I don't think it's as funny as Seth Rogen and Evan Goldberg's first directed film, This Is The End, I still think the interview is a really entertaining, very ballsy, and just overall a movie that knows exactly what it wants to be. Seth Rogen and James Franco are definitely fantastic here. Lizzie Kaplan, who does a really good job. Randall Park, he nailed it as Kim Jong-un. He pretty much steals every scene he is in. The movie gets into weird turns involving James Franco and Kim Jong-un. The two of them becoming buddies. <laughs> yeah, whoever would have thought of that. It took a lot of balls for Seth Rogen and Evan Goldberg to come up with a premise like this. But how they handled it was very well done. And... The interview was definitely funny. It definitely had plenty of funny moments to where it started. Even in the second act, I thought there were plenty of funny moments. I know a lot of criticisms and the reviewers say that the second act drags. There's not really anything funny going on, but honestly, even in the second act of the interview, I still laughed. What I also liked about the interview is not only did it just like focus on the humor, but at the same time, it did actually set up for a very well-written storyline. Like, I loved how it played something that's true to reality, like when they point out stuff like how Kim Jong-un doesn't feed his people. And they're expressing things about that's true in America, like where we see bullshit news that isn't news. Not only did it have its blend of the stupid humor, but it had its blend of its pretty smart political humor at the same time. It's very well shot. I thought the cinematography looked really good. The music in this movie really fits very well. And then you get into the last 20 minutes, which does have very crazy action. It was very bloody, crazy situations ensue. The build up leading up to the finale to me was really worth it. And here and there, there are misses in terms of the humor. Like humor involving poop, fart jokes, you know, that doesn't really make me laugh all that much. It didn't really work for me. And then there's the repetitive joke about how Kim Jong-un apparently doesn't have a butthole, like he doesn't pee or poop. It was kind of funny the first time, but after that, I was like, okay, it's getting a little bit repetitive there. And there's this romantic subplot between Seth Rogen and this Korean girl. And believe it or not, I do actually find that entertaining. That's actually not a big deal with me. I just sort of have a little flaw with it because I just didn't think it was needed. And really, overall, this is an awesome, very funny, as well as being a very ballsy movie. I was definitely not disappointed with the interview, so I'm going to give this movie three and a half out of four stars. So you guys, if you have seen the interview, let me know in the comments down below what you think of this movie. And between the two movies Seth Rogen and Evan Goldberg directed, tell me which one of their movies they directed you think are better. The interview or this is the end. This is 22 Tiger Dude and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power.